Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you a basic lower back, middle back uh, stretching exercise program you can fit in uh, three or four times a day that will help keep you loose, uh, especially if you're working from home, sitting at a desk all day at the moment. So we'll start off with the glutes. Uh, so there's a couple of ones we can do here. So first one's supposed to called pigeon stretch. Um, you didn't bury it in this, this is a basic setup today. So we're going to stretch out my right leg. So my right leg is going to go on top of my left leg as such and I'm going to use my hand and grab behind my knee and I'm going to pull my knee up towards my chest. You should feel a stretch sort of here in my backside. So I will show you a side view. It looks a bit like this. Okay. The more I pull up towards my chest, the harder the stretch. Keep your head down. I'm being badly behaved there. And then I'll do 30 seconds on my right leg and then to change, I then put my left leg on top of my right leg and then same principle, grab behind my right knee and pull up. So that's technically a stretch, what we call your piriformis muscle, tiny little muscle, very low down the glutes. If you want to get a little bit higher up, you start in the same place, but instead grab onto the outside of the knee, and I'm pulling towards my opposite shoulder here, and pulling in and holding. I should feel a stretch going all the way through my glutes, maybe into lower back just a little bit. And again, I'll do 30 seconds on this side, and then change. I would do then do 30 seconds on the other side. Okay? Uh, on to lower back. So first things first, a really easy one, just lower back stretching. Just cross your legs by your ankles, grab your knees, pull them towards your chest, you can just hold. You can do that for 30 seconds, and then I suggest for 30 seconds you do clockwise and anti-clockwise circles. So here I'm in like a tucked position to make sure I'm getting a nice stretch of my muscles. And this, the movements are quite small, I'm not doing big circles, I'm rolling around all over the place. The small, quite tight, little concentric circles, clockwise, anti-clockwise. This is a really nice one to do first thing in the morning and uh, last thing at night, for those of you who wake up feeling a little bit stiff as opposed to the mornings. Good. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Uh, you can go into a bit more complicated one, it's called crucifix stretch, with a side on view here. So I'm going to do my uh, left hand side, so I'm going to straighten my right leg, I'm going to keep my uh, left leg bent, and then I'm going to kind of pull it out to the side, keep my other arm out here to give me a little bit of balance. I'm going to roll. I can feel a strong stretch coming through my lower back there. And again, don't bounce, just hold. And then you would then do the other side, straighten my left leg, bend my right, pull on the outside, arm out to give myself a little bit of balance. And then again, feel a strong stretch called middle and lower back there. Hip flexors. Hip flexors are probably not a muscle group any of you really heard of, but hip flexors are a big, big, big muscles, probably second only to your glutes. They're on the front of your spine, end up in your groin. They bring your knees towards your chest or bring your trunk forward towards your knees. They're the pork tenderloin of muscles, so they're about that thick and about that long, and they're attached to every bit of spine on the way down that they come into contact with. They are incredibly powerful. If they get tight, so you usually get tight when you're sitting for long periods, they will give you a little bit of back discomfort or sort of groiny pulling in sort of here. Nice, easy stretch, my favorite one to do. Come into a kneeling position and then as such. And then the key thing in here is not make sure you don't, you don't kind of lunge forward too much. I actually keep my back straight. And all I want to do is push my groin forward and I can feel a strong stretch here. You won't necessarily feel it in your know, lower back. If you do, that's not a bad thing. Just you'll probably feel it more in here. Again, 30 seconds, change. 30 seconds, a nice push through there. Again, feel it probably more in the thigh than we will do in the lower back, but it is gonna be helping your lower back out a lot. Then onto middle back, which at the moment is gonna be suffering if you're working from home on a laptop. Nice, easy one, you've all, probably all done this before. Legs sort of uh, hip width apart, and then we're gonna do a little cat stretch, as such. Some people do this with their head. I tend to keep the head looking straight into my hands. And I'm really more interested in the upward movement than the downward movement. I don't really care about that bit going to extension. I'm more fussed about going up. And in the same position, we go into our thread the needle stretch. This is a really nice one for the middle back again. So take your hand, come down into a plank position, take that hand and thread it through the gap, hence why threading the needle. And the aim of the game here is to get this back part of your shoulder onto the ground. Nice, strong stretch there. And then of course, you then come down that side. You go out the other way, again, nice big stretch there. Then we can go into what we, we call uh, shell stretch. Uh, I think in yoga it might be referred to as child's pose. 
So sitting on your haunches and then hands, I tend to overlap. If I'm gonna do my left hand side, I'm gonna come out to the right and I'm gonna try and keep my hands out as far as I can, get my head tucked down, trying to get my bum onto my heels. And then again, I'll then change. You'll probably notice one side is a lot tighter than the other, so I'm right-handed, so my right side is a lot tighter than my left. Good. And then we'll chuck in a couple of uh, sort of neck stretches for free. So nice, simple, keep basic. Ear to shoulder, slight pull over. So use the hand in which your uh, direction, which your head is moving. Hold for 30 seconds. Other way, hold for 30 seconds. And there we go. A basic exercise regime that you can do uh, three or four times a day that will help, help keep you as supple as possible. Just think of it, each exercise you're doing for 30 seconds, if you're doing it for one particular way or direction, left or right, 30 seconds in each direction, and yet three or four times a day, and that will do the job. Thank you very much, guys. I keep your eyes peeled on some new stretches and trigger point exercises coming up. Thank you very much. Bye.